Hey guys, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the badass BA2315 1480 kV motor. And since this motor is a badass, I had to bring out the judge. All right, I needed a motor for my NanoDrack build and I found this badass 2315 and I think it's gonna fit the bill very nicely. This is a 1480 kV prop and let me show you what I found interesting about this one. First off, it's got a usable power band across a lot of different prop sizes that work on the NanoDrack, including a 7.5 on four cell, all the way down to a 6.4 on six cell. So I can go all the way from a four cell to a six cell and have acceptable levels of performance. Now, as I studied the chart, one of the things I noticed is on the four cell, this is the four cell chart, with a 7.6 prop, it's looking like about 1,443 grams of thrust and about 96 miles an hour pitch speed, which is okay. And the amperage is 35 amps. So I found that, you know, that's, it, that's very good, actually. It's very acceptable. Now we look at the five cell prop test data on a six by five five prop, we lose a little bit of that thrust. We go from 1440 to down to 1117, but we go up in pitch speed from 96 miles an hour. Look, all right, first interesting, given it's actually a smaller pitch on this prop. So 655 versus a 76, so a little less pitch. But here's the one that really kind of got my attention, and that's a six by four prop. Notice on this one, you get 1,529 grams of thrust compared to say 1117 with a 655 or 1237 with a square six by six prop. But check out the pitch speed. You maintain a pretty good pitch speed at 103 miles per hour and the amperage at 35.3. That's the thing I kind of keyed in on was you're delivering 1500 grams of thrust, which is a whopping amount of thrust, and 103 miles per hour in pitch speed at the cost of 35 amps. We look at the other peaks, we're at 33 amps on the five cell, and we're at 35 amps on the four cell. So what I'm seeing here is an opportunity to kind of trade speed for thrust, and it's very clear in the use case for a five cell with a 655, and a six cell with a six by four. So 1,529 grams of thrust on a six by four at 35 amps, or 1,100 grams of thrust at the cost of 31 amps with a 6x55. So anyway, I wanna try these two out. My plan is to look at the 6x4 and the 6x55 props on 5S and 6S. Let's take a look. All right, first up will be the 6x55 prop and a five cell battery. Obviously, this is a five cell 4000, a little big for the nano drag, but it's what I've got handy. And we'll see, if, it, if the use case warrants it, maybe I'll get a smaller five cell. So we'll just plug this in and spin this guy up. On that run, I saw 31.7 amps with 1,238 grams of thrust and 626 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the 6x4 and 6S prop. In case you're curious, I'm using APC props and the 6L battery will be an HRB 1800. I actually use these for my helicopters. The 5-cell battery was a Turnigy 5S 4000. I use these on some of my bigger balsa planes. Okay, here we go with an APC 6x4 prop. All right, on that run, I recorded 35.5 amps with 1,372 grams of thrust and 803 watts. Wow, that peaked at 803. I'm gonna check my numbers in post because a lot of times when I'm running this, I don't actually capture the peak number while the motor's running. So I'll, I will check my numbers in post and if I have revisions, I'll add those in post. Okay, let's see how the motor stacks up against the published results. On the five cell test with a six by five five prop, they claim 31.8 amps and I saw 31.7, so right on the money there. The input wattage was 589. I recorded 626, so a little bit higher on the wattage. And then on the thrust, they say 1117 and I recorded 1238. So overall, 
the published results were slightly below the actual results that I recorded. On the six cell test, I ran a six by four prop. They claimed 35.43 amps. That was almost dead on. On the thrust, they claimed 1529 watts. I showed 1372. I'll need to double check that in post. And then on the wattage, they say 786, and I recorded 803. So I have a feeling when I edit this in post, I'll find out that that thrust actually hit a little bit of a higher number. All I can say is these results are typical from the product line. I see it, Innovative Designs and RC Dude. The Cobra line of motors, their spec charts were always spot on and very accurate. And in this case, I didn't see any deviation. The motor performed exactly or better than they said it would perform, with the one exception of the thrust, which looks like it was slightly lower in my result, but I want to check it in post. Regarding the fit and finish, the motor itself looks very cool. I like the matte black finish with the badass logo on the back. The red top is cool. As you guys know, this is kind of very much in line with my channel colors. I use a lot of this red, black, and silver in my, in my channel, so I'm a little partial. They've got a standard prop adapter up front that'll take a locking nut if you want to use that. And they also provide, which surprised me a little bit, a couple of collet style prop adapters. So you can screw these on, and there are actually two of them in the box. So if you bend one, you're not out of luck. So these are the collet style. They bolt in on the same spot, of course. And then on the back side of the motor, there's a long shaft if you want to flip it around and run it the other way. And one thing I did notice on the interior on this bell housing right here is some blue. It looks like epoxy. I kind of think that might be for balancing purpose. It looks to me like they might have used that for a weight because it doesn't apply all the way around the shaft. It's just on that one side. So I kind of have a feeling they might have put that in there to balance. The ingress of the wires to the base plate is covered by a nice sheath and the wiring is flexible. It's not floppy, but it's flexible enough. It's not like that rigid hard wiring that we see sometimes. So I think, you know, perfectly usable. And on the back, of course, you got the standard cross mount. Overall, I really like the design of the motor. I like the color tones they use. The matte black is very cool. The silver, the red anodized top looks really nice. As far as the silk screening goes, they just put the label of the brand on, Badass, and the model designator, BA2315. 480 kV. So bottom line, this motor looks and feels like a premium motor, as it should be for the price they get for them. This motor is going to wind up on my nano track, and as soon as I finish the build, we'll get it out there and we'll give it a run, and I'll let you know what I think of the motor with some hands-on practical experience with it flying an airplane around. That wraps up my first look at the Badass BA2315 1480 kV. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.